Welcome everybody to the Old Bridge Tournament hole number one. Here we're playing a luminary shot down to a thorn backspin shot. It's no move target with a P5. The adjustment is P5 minus 5% max numbers. No move in target. Six top, one right, no curl, and full overpower. So this is good for APOC 5 plus Six top, one right, P5, minus five max. No move target, no curl, full OP, right? So your drives, as long as you don't hit, uh, you know, too bad of a great to the right, you should be safe with single greats, as long as they're not too bad. We're looking at anything, basically 400 plus for the most part for the drive. Um, 400. I'm paying. I'm using drive yardages for my slider. 400 is 73 slider. P5 plus 40 for the approach. Now the approach is a little complicated because it's a crosswind and it varies between crosswind and a crossing headwind. So there's a couple of things that I've got going on here that you can look for to give you a better chance at a drop. But it's always max backspin, always a half a bar left spin. P5 plus 40 at slider. Like I said, 400 is 73% slider. I'll give you a couple of them here so you can have some references. Uh, 405 is 66% slider. 410 is 59. 415 is 51% slider. Uh, so that's some references for you. You can estimate in between there or get a slider chart. Um, so here's how I'm working it. I'm going to offset as needed based on the number of rings I got to pull for my adjustment and using the wind angle uh, because the wind angles change. The more crosswind angle needs a little bit of curl. So if I'm adjusting between 4.8 and 5.3 rings, I'm going to have the tip of the ball guide at the left edge. My green ring is always, the bottom of the green ring is always going to be touching the fringe on the bottom. And then I'm offsetting the tip of the ball guide based on number of rings pulled for your adjustment. This is good for Thorn 7 Plus. So if your adjustment is between 4, 8, and 5, 3, you'll aim at the left edge, kind of like I'm doing here. You'll see the green ring is just clipping into the fringe on the bottom. Tip of the ball guide is pointing at the left edge. If your adjustment is between 5.4 and... 6.0, you'll go a half a cup left if you're between 6.1 and 6.4 on your adjustment. What you'll do is you'll split the left edge of the cup and the line left of the cup in half with the tip of the ball guide. And then if you have a 6.5 to 6.9 ring adjustment, then you'll do three quarters of the distance between the cup and the line left of the cup. All right? And so wind angles are like this. If you are pointed here, you need two clicks of left curl. If you're pointed here, you need four clicks of left curl. If you're pointed in this general vicinity, you don't need any. So this is what I'm calling the headwind angle. This is my neutral angle. And this is my crosswind angle. Headwind angle or left, you don't need any curl. Just go with those standard offsets. If you're in the neutral position, you need two clicks of left curl. And if you're in the crosswind, position you need four clicks of left curl and that's with the offsets that i already listed right i know it's a little complicated if you practice it a few times it should give you a good chance at a drop it's a pain in the butt hole but i think if you practice this and you get these offsets and and wind angles correct you have a really good chance at a drop so good luck hope you get the drop and we'll see you on the next hole